Welcome back. So now we're starting to have some kind of application. Now we want to be able to create users, not only in our database, we actually also want to make authentication here. So we want to make both an auth user and a DB user, just a basic user inside the database. This guy is going to, let's call it profile. Let's call it profile for now, because that's going to keep all the information that we also require about the user besides the authentication part. We don't want to mix those together because we can't, right, actually. You cannot add more than, um, there are a few things like profile image and also um, uh, display name. You can add that to this authentication part, but that's all you can add. But what we want is we're going to create an, a user using the authentication uh, to actually build a user. And then we're going to grab this UID and then we're going to make a user here just with a key that's randomly generated. And then with the UID down here, the username and the email without the password, right? That's what we're going to build in this lesson. So meaning that we're going to make two requests, one for creating an authentication user and a second request for actually adding a dumb user that's going to contain the information that we want to use later. The reason is that we cannot, we don't have an API to like say, give me all users in here. That's not available in Firebase. That would be a security breach. But we do have an API to say, get all users from in here. So that means that we can start adding courses and all the other things we want to the actual users as we move forward. So we're going to make two different things this lesson. And we're going into our create user. I'm just going to paste in some code here that we're going to use uh, because what we want to do is call create users in the auth part, not the database part, the auth part of the uh, Firebase angle of fire setup here. Now to create a user, we need to pass in an email and a password. And we already have those available inside our create user with an email and password from the actual user. When this is done, then we want to do something. Right, And what we do want to do is actually we want to go in here and we want to use this, add the user to the list afterwards, but we're not going to add the entire user because he also contains password and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is instead we're going to say we want to add the user with an email. That's pretty much going to be the same one that we're doing right here. Like this, we're going to add the user with a username. That's going to be the same again, user.username. And then we're going to add something new called a unique ID. You could also call that the auth unique ID. But that's the idea here is actually we cannot get that from the user. We have to get it from the response. So the response returns the UID, which is the unique ID for that authenticated user we just created. That's all we have to do. Now it should actually create not only the user, but also um, the authentication user. So now we can start logging in with that user. Let's try and see if it runs. Going into our console here, trying to open authentication. Notice there's only one user available right now. This is a magic trick. So now those are added, and then I'll do a save, and hopefully I won't get an error. Nope, here he pops up, last build. And uh, one more thing happens actually is I log in with that guy. So we have to figure out not to do that anymore. But we'll figure that out in the next lesson. But that means that now he's actually created in the Firebase. If I refresh here, a new user should be available here that I can log in with actually. There we go. Now we have two users available, and in the database, a new user should also have been added down here, last builder with a UID that points QF something something to QF something something here. So now we have a link between the user here and the user inside the authentication database. Cool. Next lesson, we'll try and figure out a few bugs that we get from this and keep going in the right direction. Have fun.